guys and welcome to another video and today I'm going to be talking about the DLC to Resident Evil 7 it's not a hero and I'm also going to talk about Resident Evil 5 because my original plan was to read my scary stories to them do my urban legend stories again because I haven't done them in a while but my piece of shit phone Nokia um, is dead, completely dead. I'm not turned on at all because I have to wait till it charges and I can't be waiting around for it to charge because I've got to film this straight away. So it's kind of pissed me off a little bit. So sorry if I'm a bit annoyed in any which way, but you know, I'm just going to talk about those two things today, just a little ramble. Um, I'm also going to be eating some gum while I ramble, which is, this is apple flavoured extra that I got from uh, Aldi the other day, so I'm going to eat that and ramble about those two games, because I have talked about all the other Resident Evils on my channel, but there's a lot of Resident Evil games that I haven't played yet, like... I do know, I've played some of Call of Veronica, but I haven't completed it, and Zero, I haven't completed neither, so I can't really talk about the story or what it's about, and I can't tell you that I've played it, so, well, I have played it, but I don't, you know, so please like this video, and please hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and click on the notification bell so that you're updated by any future videos so yeah let me just get some chewing gum I'll get two because they don't last very well but I'll have three because then um, you get a long lasting taste this is apple flavour, it's very nice So I have played the DLC to Resident Evil 7 which is not a hero and I've played, I've done Let's Play here, I'm from the Let's Play on my channel, um, I think I've done only three parts or two parts to the actual gameplay, if you go in my playlist on my channel there should be um, like a playlist with let's players and then um, there's let's players that I've done in previous um, so I've learned not a hero and obviously it's a DLC from Resident Evil 7 um, if you buy the gold edition of Resident Evil 7 you get all the DLCs in the pack but you have to download not a hero separately from a different thing and not a hero came about because at the end of Resident Evil 7 Chris comes down in a helicopter and helps you kill Evelyn well comes after you've killed Evelyn and helps you and picks you up and sends you away because you're Ethan at the end and that was the leading into not a hero and not a hero Chris now works for Umbrella and he's going around working for them and there's a lot of puzzles and stuff that you have to do in Not Hero and um, when I first played it it was fun because you get these different coloured doors and you can go through them but me being stupid when I first played it I didn't have any help there's this grey door, I think, that you go through. And I went in it and I didn't have the night vision because you're supposed to get the night vision thing so you can go through it so you can see in the dark. And me, I went in it and I stepped on mines because there's mines in underneath that Ethan has put down. Because as you know, from the Baker's family, Ethan 
you have to stop Ethan because he's going around, you know, kidnapping all of these umbrella soldiers that work for you. You have to go and help them and get them out of the prison cell. Um, and there's one guy that you help in the prison cell that I did and he ends up getting killed, he ends up getting his head chopped off in the actual game. Um, but I went through there without a night vision thing and I stepped on mines and I didn't know there was mines in there and I ended up killing myself again and again. And Not a Hero is a difficult game to get around because it's head confusing of what to do and what not to do. Um, when I played it I got up to um, this puzzle you have to do which is with balloons where you have to sort of like push these balloon carts and like push it through this actual door so you can get through or just push it through there so you can do something and you have to kill these glute monsters because the glute monsters from Resident Evil 7 are in the Not Hero DLC and you have to kill them. And you also there's these big massive ones where you get special bullets that you can use to actually kill the big massive monsters. And the furthest I went in the game was I did some puzzles and stuff, but I got to the clown key room. I mean in there there's this clown and you have to wind the key up. But me being scared because in the original Happy Birthday Resident Evil like tape thing you did, it freaked me out because I've seen those clowns before. And you have when you was give, when you tried to get the pen off him or whatever it was, he ended up stabbing you with it. It was this creepy freaking clown. It's got this sh- sh- heebie jeebies out of me, and I didn't want to do it. Um, that's why I didn't go any further, and I didn't want to do it because it, you know. I was that clown there. Um, but it's a really fun game and it's a really good day, I would say. I've played it numerous times. I haven't completed it yet because I do find it a bit difficult and it's a bit difficult to get your head around because it's you've still got the same controls as Resident Evil 7 as well, where you run and all that and you use the gun and everything. But it's just confusing of where to go and stuff. And you've also got these traps that Ethan sets out that you have to dodge all the time. Because if you don't, you end up blowing up. And you die. And you also get a night vision thing. So when you wear it, you can go through like dark parts. And it's really fun, actually. And there's also a lot of puzzles involved in it. It's a bit like Resident Evil 7 a little bit. But that gets more advanced. Because there's a um, um, sort of like up down puzzle with like you know handles and you have to do that. But yeah, that's my ramble about Resident Evil 7 not here. Uh, if you wanna play if you wanna watch my let's plays of it, I only did two parts. Then go in my let's plays on my actual channel and you'll find it. And my next bit I'm talk about is um Resident Evil five um quickly because this is not going to be long. Um, Resident Evil 5 is like, um, the original Resident Evil 5 that Capcom originally did was like, it weren't going to be, it was action packed and everything, but it was originally going to be not a co-op, but it was originally going to just be Chris. He was just Chris walking around this, walking around the, um, the place, the village, it's this village with these different zombies. They're like a bit like Indians a bit. Um and it was just gonna be Chris walking around and you had Sheva tag along. But then they changed it all and they made it to like a co op um game and it was multiplayered. So you had to play it. You can play it on your own but it makes you play it with a computer. If you do that. I mean, I used to play Resident Evil 5 with Jeff Music Man. He also has a channel. I'll go check him out. And I used to play um, Resident Evil 5 with him. Um, we did it as a multiplayer and you had to go through all the chapters. 
um, and obviously you have Sheva and you have Chris and there's a lot of button bashing in the game that you have to do and you have to kill these executioners with these big massive hammers and you've got to kill zombies as well um, you've also got to collect all the gems and stuff like that in the games because they all resort to you using them for something um, you can also upgrade your weaponry every time you do it because we started off with no like infinite ammo or anything like that we just did it as a normal game and we had ammo and we had to pick it up like you do in the games where you pick it up and you had to use it and then after we have completed all the chapters you could do it in different levels so you could do it in easy or normal or veteran or professional and we did it in we did it in veteran as well i think one time through the chapters and it's really difficult but i think we did professional once we did professional with jill and there's this of the sequence where you have to fight albert wesker so albert wesker's in the game too and you have to pull this bug thing off jill and me and jeff found it really difficult to get it off because it, you have to do it without killing her and she's really fast too and then the harder you go on the actual modes it gets harder and we also did the troll bit on veteran we didn't do it on professional because we wouldn't have been able to do it i think we did i'm not sure but there's this big massive troll sequence that you have to defeat this troll but you have to like shoot the rocks off when you shiver and you have to like disable the poles and blow stuff up and there's also zombies that you have to kill as well as the drone and it's difficult and if you play it on hard modes it becomes really difficult um as well and there was also the bike sequence which we hated because we was constantly raging at it and we kept dying numerous times and it was really funny <laughs> Um, and also you get um, mercenaries on Resident Evil 5 and you also get um, Versus which is um, a multiplayer thing and me, Jeff and Ryan, Major Black Rose, um, he also has a channel too, I'm not sure if he watches but hi Ryan. Um, he, we used to play Versus together on Resident Evil 5 um, and we used to do it every Friday or so often and it was funny because we used to, it's a game where you could fight each other and your characters, you've got different characters, you've got Jill, Albert and all the like villains and just, like Chris and all that and you can fight each other and whoever like gets the most points in the game obviously wins and becomes first. So we used to play that. I used to play Mercenaries with Jeff a lot as well. And that was fun. Which was just like shooting loads of zombies for points and getting double S or you also got a grade at the end of it. And also there was another thing in um, Resident Evil 5 it's, which is like sort of like a DLC minus um, which is called Bossy Nightmare. Which is basically gives you a background to sort of like Albert and how he beat Albert Wesker and how we got into Umbrella. And he's in Umbrella and the obviously the Spencer is in it and Spencer is like the guy that created the Spencer Mansion in Resident Evil Remake and Res in the original Resident Evil as well. Um and he tries to kill Albert Wesker tries to kill him and obviously you're Chris and Jill, that's how it all starts off, is that Jill becomes evil because you think in the last nightmare Chris thinks that Jill's died and gone out the window but she actually gets turned evil by a bug due to Albert because he uses her for her own means so he can get to Chris because Albert Wesker hates Chris in the Resident Evil games, even in Call of Veronica he hates Chris too, so um, in Lost in Nightmare you have to basically find all the cranks um, and you use them to go to pl go through places and you have to kill zombies and kill other stuff 
I mean, it's like a story, basically, and you have to kill these, like, pe- these monsters where they have like, these, like, yellow eyes and you have to shoot them as Jill, because Jill gets, the, it's got the rifle. And also, there's lots of puzzles involved in Lost in Night, but there's one puzzle that we did, and it was, you was, you was, I was Jill Valentine and, you know, Jeff was Chris Redfield. And there's a puzzle, it's a piano puzzle again. Because you have to get the shields again, like in remake a little bit, and you have to play Moonlight Sonata as Jill again, and it's sort of like going back to the old games, and you have to play it on piano, but you have to use the buttons, like the actual like square triangle X, and it's really really fun to play Last Night, and um, we streamed it a lot of the time on. Um, both of our channels. I don't have my old streams on my channel anymore because I deleted them off my channel because I'm mostly doing like ASMR and role plays on my channel now and I'm it's sort of turned into a business and I don't want all my gaming sort of like gaming streams and that stuff on there. I'll keep my let's plays on there because they're not a problem but I've sort of deleted my streams off my channel so I don't have no sort of like gaming stuff because my channel's not really gaming as much now. I mean, I can do gaming for like ASMR or, you know, Let's Plays for any reason, but I'm mostly focusing on that ASMR and role plays on my channel now um, so I can get more views and attention. But yeah, that's pretty much all of like Resident Evil 5 and Not a Hero. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really sorry about the scary urban legends stories um, today. I will try and do it next Friday when I get a chance to. And also, I'm planning on doing a role play on Monday, if anybody's watching still. Um, I'm, um, I'm going to do a tarot card role play where I read someone's fortune, like that like, read your, do a tarot card reading. Because um, I bought some tarot cards, Jeff bought me some tarot cards and they're coming tomorrow. But I'm doing it on the Monday, guys, so watch out for that video as well. I hope you all have a wonderful Friday today. Um, hopefully next week I can do my scary stories. But have a wonderful day. And I'll see you all guys in the next video. Bye.